all the same thing. It just sounds better coming from your main. It's your main, main G.O. And we're doing Valentine's food review. And I got a co-host for y'all today. Y'all are going to be excited. All right. Hold your horses. But we at Bar Bernie's Wine Stop. And we're going to try some wine. And then we're going to uh, get to the food. Make sure you get your merch. I'll let you play. Guys, this is my guest host for the day, Kiki <laughs> from the podcast Bank of City. Hey. Uh, she finna uh, try some uh, my guys. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, I can taste with her too. Okay, okay, that's what I'm talking about. She's coming on camera too. Come on, Jackie, Jackie Kid, finna have a uh, right, little sip off. Yeah. <laughs> little sip off. All right. Let's cool. see how I see lights. So, just to refresh everybody again, this is the Willamette Valley, Oregon White Blend. Okay. It comes in 19 bucks, but it's a one liter, so you get an extra extra glass and a half. Yeah, okay, y'all stop being cheap and get this one. Uh, <laughs> Smell it, yeah. So it definitely got, it's definitely got like a lemon lime kind of like citrusy kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. nose. You, you smell it. Pretty tart. That's not bad. No, okay. it's pretty easy drinking tart. Okay, for the first one. Not bad. Tart, light, you know, if you're by the pool, I feel like this would be a nice little wine, you know, kind of sips almost like a little bit of Gatorade. Right. Or, you know, like a little lime, lemon lime kind of. Uh, mm. Really? Mm. All right, guys, we're going to check out the fit. Oh, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> oh, man. We're having a good time here at the uh, Burner's Wine Stock. Don't make me spit my, my wine. <laughs> <laughs> so there's about there's five grapes in this uh Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Blanc, Chardonnay, and Riesling and Pinot Noir. Okay, so it's not super sweet. It's not super sweet, but so, it's tart. But it is tart. Okay. And you can taste the citrus mm -hmm. in it. It's, I like it. It's not bad. Yeah, it's very pleasant. It's a more of a like you can do it with a lot. With, you can do it. At, well, the flavors will calm down if you do it with food a little bit too. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, as you go. All man, right. man, G open the track, guys. Let's see what it is hitting on. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, it's it tart. Get, it's got a little slight sweet finish, but yeah. you know, it's pretty tart up front. Right, right. It, it, it almost gives you a red wine feel, almost. Mm -hmm. Like uh, one of the drier ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, but I love I love wine, guys. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, a, what they call it, a... What kind of opinion? It's kind of biased. Yeah, it's a bias. You heard it first. <laughs> yeah, love wine. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come down back. Get your bottle, man. Yeah, I like it though. Right, this is a very different. This is going to be very different than the wine that we're going to try next. Okay. So I'll let you guys transition back over. Yeah. <laughs> or you can go ahead. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. You want to try the next one with me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll pour you a glass first. Let me show you. Getting this great service, man. Well, how how could you not stop by? Great service. Great service here is what you don't get at all the other stores. Great service. Great service. That's why we gotta do it here. Local. <laughs> Shop local. Only in Burning, you know, local. But this is an Italian grape, so this is uh, gonna be a little more floral on the nose, a little more citrusy, like green apple and pear. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get those notes right off the bat if you smell it. And then this one's gonna have a tip, a tip more of a fuller body, not as light. It's a little more richer, a little more richer wine. Do we want to do like chicken? This is good. I like this one. So this one, oh, this one a little more easier drinking for you though. Yeah, that it's a tart. lot easier. Yeah. yeah, that was a strong. That that that, that red well, wine. The white, it yeah, represents. the red and white blend can be you know. <laughs> I mean, there's five different grapes in that. So you got oh man, he got this cool mustache you've been having. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you got the mustache here. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the first one is you know says it's a field blend, so it's more than more than four grapes, so it's gonna have a little more complexity, a little more difference. Different stages of the wine. Mm -hmm. All right, Kia, go try your glass. This one's a single grape. This one's the Greco, which is the Italian grape. Okay. Now, this is, would be similar to, like I said, Chardonnay if you're just starting out drinking wine. Okay. Are you guys I, open on Valentine's Day at all? Or? 
We might do some limited hours, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Cause this Y'all is... make sure it's out. I got a little bit of time for the lady, too. Right, right, exactly. You guys come try. They doing the wine testing all through the week. So, you you know, you guys come stop by at Bernie's. We are closed on Sunday, but we're oh, open okay. for the rest of the week. Mondays are open from 1 p.m. to 7.30. Okay. The rest of the week, 10.30 to 7.30. Right. Good. Yeah, you know, pretty much. Yeah, it's for $12.99, I mean. twelve ninety nine. dollars I feel like yeah. saying, drinks a little bit better than a lot of stuff that you find, for sure. That's a, that's a, that's my favorite for right now, but it felt like this, I, this lemon one got some. A little bit of creaminess, cream, a little bit of creaminess too as well. Mm-hmm. I think I like the other one better. Oh, okay, okay. Got to go with what the ladies like. We drink the <laughs> zest. <laughs> Better right. tug it down, yeah, fellas. Do something you different, man. Right. <laughs> taste taste the lady wine tasting. Right. Right, all right. Well, we used to do, like I said, hopefully when the when COVID comes to a, a normalcy, we can have the Friday night wine tastings. Oh, Because we man. do that every Friday night. So it was from like a, a certain time to a certain time, five bucks, and you had a little bit more wine to try too. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah. So nice. you can go out on the town, come in, try, try a little bit of wine, and go do your late night thing. Mm. Hmm. And guys, look at this box <laughs> wine. I can't get over this. That's the Brady's box that changes monthly. So, you know, if you want to try 12 different grapes, you can for under 20 bucks. <sighs> come on, now. Y'all got to come do it. Come on, now. You turn into play. a wine expert in a matter of months. In a matter of months. Yeah, I'm tasting it. Switch them up. Got to switch up. This is the last week for that one, so I'm switching that up next week. Starting right. Monday. So. You hear here first, like guys. Said, we spent the value of the box between, you know, Twelve to twenty dollars per bottle, so you know I put a good mixture in there. Make sure you get the bang for your buck and you get some good quality stuff. All too, right. So. All That's right. another thing, quality. Yes, quality. That's what we try to look for. We do, we do the hard work for you. We search for the quality. You see that? You guys That's just that. come in and buy the wine. We'll be good. That's that great service I'm talking about, guys. You got to come out here to burn it. Like I said, if you're cooking for something, you want something, uh -oh. that, you know, you got Valentine's Day coming you know up. You're cooking at the house. You got the grill in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a red wine or a white wine, I can pair whatever you, you're serving mm -hmm. to your guests that night. Right, right. And, uh, you know, knock it out the park. Make a beautiful night for a date night. night. Yeah. <laughs> you'll right. have the wine right, you'll have the food right. And exactly. the atmosphere, that's up to you. Yeah, you just got to get them candles and come right. here grab you some wine. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So a little flowers going on. Shoot, you gonna be good. Candles to go. and wine. Here we go. And wine. Can't beat it. Yeah, you gotta set. Oh, yeah. Set the mood. Yeah, it's all about the mood. All right, now we're going total opposite. We're going red wine now. Uh oh, red. So like the first one, this was a blend. This is going to be a red blend though. This is from Washington. Okay. Uh, this is a Morved Syrah Grenache blend, which are three native grapes to France. Usually a little bit, but a little bit drier, so you're getting a little bit more of the heavier tobacco kind of like a cigar as kind of spices mm. going on there. You know, a little bit of clove, a little bit of maybe a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla. Right. Those type of notes, really nice by campfire or you know just having some, some, just some bits of red wine. Right. Start with first. I didn't have no <laughs> mind about it. I'll let it go. <laughs> I don't know what's up in my said, spirit. This one is going to be like to heavy, heavier with the oak. You know, yes. I would recommend burgers, steaks, you know, those kind of a little more heavier stuff, a little bit more fat right. on, the, on the actual meats. Yeah. But it's good. I mean, you can always go down to cheese and charcuterie with this too. It handles really cured meats pretty well. Oh, okay. Some, some more uh, harder cheeses like, you know, cheddar. Oh, okay. well. So no cheese hearts for this one. Yeah, no soft cheese. <laughs> no, no soft, soft cheese has gotta go get your gangsta hard cheese. Yeah, you gotta get hard cheese. <laughs> it's not it's not super sweet, but it's, it's not bad. Okay. It's definitely more fruitier than a lot of other uh, drier reds, like a cab, cabernet, gonna be a little lot drier than this. Right. This is kinda in the balance between, you know, medium and, and full body. Okay. Okay, you try. Camelot okay, the key up. The right way. Mm. No, first you get those like almost kind of like cigar kind of tobacco mm. notes right on the nose, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm used to right here. Yeah, so, you know, it's got a little bit of the richness with the tannin, you know, that's where you right. can taste them from the oak and everything else. With this the that this that wine you gonna get at the five star restaurants right there, there <laughs> with, the, with the steak and everything. You <laughs> right, know what I'm saying? Steak and potatoes wine. Steak and potatoes. That, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is good. This that is good stuff, good. man. You yeah, man. You like guys. I said, we change these up each week. You know, I usually put at least three wines on there, so you have three different options to choose from when you're coming in and you're shopping and you're trying to look for something new. 
or you're looking for something, you know, just to taste, you always can come through. I'll be here. You know what I'm saying, man, Jake got you. So guys, uh, this is the end of the review for the uh, wine uh, review for the first stop for your uh, Valentine's Day start off night. You come, come get your wine, and you know Jake gonna put you in the right uh, place in the right direction for your, um, so you get the ambiance going with your candles going, and just make it a great night for a date night Valentine's Day review. Come on, let's go. Happy go. Valentine's Day, y'all. Yeah, happy Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Show you what to what to get in there. Oh, no, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Food on the couch first, guys. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, right, yeah. I gotta put this. Gotta, gotta make room for this. For sure. so, tell us how you like the pyramid one. Well, you pair it with the location and what you're eating. <laughs> and in this case, we're going outside because it's a gorgeous day. Yes. So we're drinking rosé in a can to go, make it real easy for your adventure. And then we have some Alvarinho, which is um, like the Alvarinho. Mm -hmm. Really great, dry, yeah, white, drinking, yeah, like super crisp. easy drinking. A lot of people eat it with like, you know, what you normally pair. White wine with, like, yeah, like it's, said, it's made to be right here's had with no seafood, light. and mm -hmm. I'm going by the water on my outdoor adventure. So, <laughs> seafood, the sea, the water. You can pick up all that over next door at Greater Goods. Greater well, we can pick up all the cheese plates. So, Sweetgrass uh, Dairy, yeah. they're in Thomasville, yes. Georgia. Yes, you see For it, For the baby. upcoming Valentine's Day holiday, this is the most delightful little cheese and it comes with little cheese hearts and they have it available cheese next door. <laughs> cheese hearts, can't get better than that. Uh, don't eat them all because I still have to buy a few more. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have some really good cured meat from my store. Mm -hmm. um, I like my cheese plate with a little sweet pepper relish. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah, some cornichons. Actually, haven't, haven't had Top it with some honey and some good crackers. Oh my goodness, that's, that's a meal. Some right and some good times mm -hmm. okay. outdoors. This is the outdoor <laughs> cheese plate fiesta. Okay, all right. Party. You want to shout out to you? I mean, uh, your Instagram or anything? Uh, you good? Um, my Insta's private. So oh, okay. Catherine Witt. <laughs> <laughs> it's private, we'll fellas. See. So. We'll see. <laughs> all right, all right. It's Thank you, now. guys. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? Shout out to Catherine and Jake for um, giving us all that great content, man. And this is something of wine we caught before we left. Yes, sir. But y'all make sure y'all go to uh, Bernie's Wine Stop and check them out, man. Here's Jake's information. Next stop. Here we go. Try some new, try some food, see what's good, and some drinks. All right, I'll let you play. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Quiet Storm, and this is inside of Sweet Pete's. And you can definitely take your beautiful lady to Sweet Pete's on a great Valentine's adventure. Um, let me stop. That's my Quiet Storm voice. Um, I'm trying to do this Valentine's Day thing. Um, I ain't gonna keep it going. <laughs> but yeah, man, the sweet peach, man. It's inside of sweet peach, man. Y'all could uh download Groupon and get y'all a uh teaching candy class and also learning how to um uh, what make some candy, uh taste the candy session. Man, great atmosphere, great service, ice cream, spot inside, candy spot, and they got um all kind of stuff you could try inside of Sweet Peas, man. Make sure y'all go take a, take a look and check it out, man. All right. I'll let your boy. Yup.
what's up, guys? We're back with me again. Yes, sir. Great activity for you and your girl to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Sweet peas. But, yeah, this the workers inside of Sweet Peas. They out there uh, making that good chocolate for you and uh, good candy toffee. Man, uh, this them just picking, just working and packing and uh, getting all the candy ready for you and your lady. You heard me? Flavor gang, it's all the same thing, just sound better coming from your main man. Sweet peats because of COVID, they don't have the food um proportion of the uh restaurant uh candy place now. Uh, but they do still sell chocolate there. Um, so me and Kia are going to try some chocolate and they have a, a candy class, um, and then they have ice cream, cream, scream, oh, bloop. Um, ice cream spot inside that you could try the ice cream and it's a uh, third floor it's a one two three a three-story building you could go around and uh buy candy and it was really good service and the people were really polite but um yeah definitely still check them out and we finna uh try some chocolate i'm finna try the chocolate real quick for you guys and give you a uh see if it's full clip half a clip whatever because uh, i'm about to tell y'all the truth in the booth ain't no doubt when i'm ready This is some salt, salted caramel. I mean, not caramel, but chocolate. And it's a marshmallow in here. I'll check it out now. I can take no pictures of it. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> it's almost like, dang. She said it was like a rocky road. Yeah, like a rocky road, right, right. Um, but um, I give it a full clip, full clip, bow, 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 <laughs> bang. <laughs> but um, yeah, I give it a full clip because it's delicious once you start getting it. I need some real food in my stomach, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's delicious once you, um, you know what I'm saying, once you try it and bite into it. Oh, oh, I got another. That's good. Mm. That's good enough for y'all. <laughs> it's good. Full clip on the marshmallow. I have to turn to hot chocolate. Oh, you wanna try the same one? Uh, try the same one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Let's say one to ten. Right now? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the best time to be raised, though. So. But you need some real food. No, it's good. Eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's in full clip proportions. What's good? Go ahead and say full clip for the full clip. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the dinner proportion of the Valentine's Day food review. Okay, so we're stopping at a place called da -da 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 Bluefish. It's in Avondale, um, Jacksonville, Florida, downtown Jacksonville, Florida. Man, we finna go ahead and check it out and see what it's talking about. Holla at your boy. Yo, yo. Here's a little look over of the Bluefish menu, their drink choices, and also they have their food options on the other side. Uh, just a little look at their prices and you know, items you might want to try when uh, stepping into Bluefish. <laughs> yes, sir. Here we go. You.
Okay, what's up, guys? I'm back again. All right, the Martinez six twenty five a piece. Uh, the crab cakes thirteen dollars. Uh, crab cakes small but delicious. All right, and then you got your raw steamed oysters, half a dozen. What is it? No, that's a whole dozen. Um, uh, thirteen dollars. Man, you know what I'm saying? They good for. They was good for me once I sauced them up. I got mine as well done. She got hers medium well. Um, had to sauce mine up, put that sauce game on them. But yeah, y'all check out the rest of this uh, ambiance of this spot. Imagine this at nighttime, y'all. Yo. Again, beautiful people, this is the shrimp and grits. $25. Man, delicious. Full clip, pow, bang, bang, bang. Full clip, man. Okay, so we just went to Bluefish, um, my little spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, had some oysters, um, shrimp and grits, fish bites, and we had a few drinks. What? Did I miss something? Uh, no, nah, that, that's about everything, but um, what you rated? What? Oh, I, I love this spot. It's, it's right out in Avondale. The area is nice. Um, it's just really cool. The service is good. Mm -hmm. um, they have a great happy hour. If anybody's ever interested in going out for a happy hour, you want to get the girls together, you want to get the guys together, I definitely would recommend Bluefish right. to you guys. And they have a brunch also, right? They have a great brunch on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then they have happy hour every single day, starting at 3, 3.30. So, yeah, get your crew together. Y'all go out, get dressed up, and go get you some good food. Nice, right. nice spot. And I think it ends around about 6 30, y'all. Me, myself, I'm going to give um, most of it a full clip. I'm going to say um, the shrimp and grits, full clip. I'm going to give it a full clip because it wasn't all fried. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't all fried and stuff. Um, it was uh, some grilled, it was like grilled shrimp on top of the grits. Y'all will see it inside of the video. And it had mushrooms, like sauteed mushrooms and onions on it. Oh, man, it was, woo, it was something good, man. But you just have to start dipping into it and getting all the flavors to go together. And it has a sauce on it also. Um, but the oysters kind of threw me off because they're just like steamed oysters. And I, I rarely have that. But once I dressed them up and everything, they were delicious. Uh, once I hit them with the hot sauce, bow, bow. And then I hit them with the little butter sauce, bow. It's time to eat, you know what I'm saying? It's a good deal. So, um, And it's a great night for a date night, you know what I'm saying? Valentine's Day. Hit up your wine spots, give your girl something to do, make it active, and make it interesting. What was you drinking, though? What was I drinking, though? I was drinking a martini. <laughs> Y'all will see it in the video. It was a martini. <laughs> Um, real feminine drink for a big man to be drinking. It looked wild, but it was delicious. The uh, and the service was great. Every uh, the atmosphere is beautiful. It's an upstairs and downstairs place. Man, uh, y'all will see most of it inside of the video. Um, they was kind of tripping about filming at first, but we still got a little bit of footage. But it's a very nice and uh, clean establishment, man. Uh, and the restrooms are beautiful also for the men. This is crazy. Uh, because most men restrooms don't be uh, up the par. But, um, yeah, it's a great night for a date night type spot. I give it a full clip on most of it, like a half a clip for the oysters because I'm not used to it. But once you sauce it, put that sauce game on it, boom, boom, bam. It's all good. So, all right, man, this your boy Gio. Flavor Armor, Flavor Game, it's all the same thing. It sound better coming from your man, your main man, Gio. And we out. Valentine's Fool Review. I'll let you boy. Yo.